Good morning everyone. Welcome to Grace Hollow. I am PJ and this is week three Monday weigh-in of the fit for the fourth challenge. And as you all know the fourth is coming up uh, next week uh, so you know we've got one week left of our challenge. Well hello. <laughs> She's demanding that I give her some attention. I thought if I pet her, she would be okay, but no, she nuzzled me to say, pat me, pat me. And so, <laughs> you all know Spot. My snake getter? Huh? My snake getter? Everybody knows pretty old Spot. One thing you may not have ever noticed, I don't know. Spot uh, is a very lovely girl, and she's a very special girl. Oh, yes, I know. But if you ever pay attention to her, she's got a severe underbite. And so her teeth are not right. It's just the way her jaw. Um, I guess she was born that way. She's always been that way as far as me and my neighbors all know. Yeah, and so we, we think she was just born that way. It doesn't keep her from killing snakes any at all, does it? Huh? Nope, it doesn't keep us from loving her either. She's a good girl. So this week, uh, <laughs> um, this has been a challenging week. Uh, I, I can't even remember. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, the challenge for this week was uh, in addition to the one cup of greens, eat four different vegetables uh, in a day. And I believe I did that every day. Um, this has been an off week for me. Uh, I've been a little distracted and um, I haven't been following my routine like I normally do. Uh, and so, <laughs> you know, earlier in the week um, I was working in the garden to get the squash and the zucchini planted, which, by the way, the squash didn't make it. Uh, the zucchini, however, is doing wonderful. And uh, I had purchased last week some um, a package deal at the grocery store. I had a, a avocado, which is what I was after, was the avocado and lime. But it came with avocado, lime, a tomato, and uh, a garlic. Uh, they call it a guacamole package. Um, and I know, I, I never say that word right. Uh, I call it avocado spread because I can't uh, say that word uh, correctly. But anyway, uh, I bought a couple of those packages. Uh, and the garlic, you know, in less than a week's time, I have little shoots on my garlic like this. Um, so I think, you know, there where the squash died, I have, you know, all that empty space. Uh, I'm going to take those garlic cloves and I'm going to plant them. I know it's late in the year, but you know, so what? I'm going to put them in the ground, uh, and if they're not ready by fall, that's okay. I'm just going to cut them back, cover them with hay. <coughs> oh, pardon me. You dusty old dog. You dusty old dog. <laughs> she looked like she was scared to death right there, didn't you? Uh, she really wasn't. I saw that look. You look scared. <laughs> anyway, uh, if they're not ready by the fall, I'll just cut them back and cover them up with some hay and I'll leave them for next spring. It's okay. Uh, but I, I think they'll grow. Uh, so, uh, we did good on our vegetables. Uh, I did good on the greens. I think I might have missed a day that I didn't eat greens. Um, I had one day that uh, I, I really didn't eat a whole lot, uh, and so I missed a lot of my stuff. Uh, but uh, I can assure you I ate enough greens every other day to make up for it, because I usually eat two to three cups of greens a day, so uh, if I missed one day, I think I'll be okay. Now, what I did do this week, uh, I went week two with no soda. <laughs> Yeah, it has been, uh, well, 15 days, uh, 15 days now that I did not drink soda. So, uh, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, 
the habit that I've kicked, you know, uh, 15 days and no soda, that's great. Uh, another thing that I accomplished this week, uh, um, I always tell you if you can avoid the artificial sweeteners, um, you know, they're just, um, they're just poison. The poison, the poison, the poison. Don't drink them. Don't eat them. Get them, you know, out of your house, out of your, uh, off your property. And, um, you know, I, <laughs> I'm a hypocrite uh, in that regard because, um, you know, I do uh, partake of a little bit of um, artificial sweetener. Uh, I don't like it, uh, but given my choices, being diabetic, I felt uh, like I had no other choice. Uh, however, uh, this week, I've conquered that challenge. Um, my blood sugar has been dropping pretty low lately. Uh, I've been in the 50s and 60s, uh, sometimes the 70s. Uh, just yesterday, uh, I was, uh, I don't even remember, I think I was making dinner and I told my husband, man, I just really don't feel good. Uh, I feel uh, like my blood sugar is low, but that can't be. I've been, I was emotional eating all day yesterday. Now, I didn't eat, you know, anything bad per se. Uh, you know, I followed my diets and my, I eat fruit and vegetables and nuts and but I eat more than my fair share of it yesterday. I was just an emotional eating yesterday, uh, terribly, terribly. Uh, and he says, well, why don't you check your blood sugar anyway? And so I did, and uh, it was like a 51. So it had dropped pretty low yesterday, and it had been dropping low like this all week long. Uh, it started last week, I started dropping pretty low. And so this week on, well, actually it was on Tuesday, I think. So um, Monday, uh, I actually didn't have any coffee at all. I skipped my coffee. And so on Tuesday, um, I switched from um, artificial sweetener to organic sugar in my coffee. Uh, I mixed up my uh, measurements and my combinations a little bit. Uh, I mixed one cup of uh, strong brewed coffee uh, with four ounces or half a cup of my um, um, almond milk and then uh, three teaspoons of the organic sugar and then I mixed it up and I pour that on ice. Uh, now, uh, a couple of days, I used the um, creamer, you know, the, the creamer that I always tell you, uh, International Delight, sugar-free, caramel, you know. Uh, some days I put uh, two tablespoons of that in the mixture, and some days I did without. Uh, so, uh, I definitely like it better with, but uh, I, I do without when I can. So I have switched to the organic sugar, and uh, for the most part, a lot of the um, low blood sugars have not been as bad. Um, however, yesterday I, I, I did uh, have the, the real sugar, and my blood sugar still dropped. And I eat a lot of fruit yesterday and a lot of nuts yesterday, and so, uh, you know, I overindulged. Uh, and I, I'm afraid I did that a lot this week. <laughs> uh, my uh, oldest daughter, um, as you all know, moved to Oregon. And so early in the week, I um, drove her to the airport. And, uh, um, you know, uh -uh. <laughs> sent her to Oregon. So uh, I've been missing her this week. And on top of that, if that's not enough, uh, and it's a joy, it's a good thing, uh, but, you know, us moms, we we tend to be a little emotional sometimes. Um, this week, my, uh, my youngest son, Junior, uh, he's, you know, the youngest of six. Uh, everyone else has left home. Uh, he's the only one left, and uh, he purchased his first vehicle this year. Uh, 
And so uh, late in the week, we took him uh, to pick up this new vehicle. Well, it's a used vehicle, but it's new to him. So we took him to pick up his vehicle. Uh, <laughs> And so, you know, it's been an emotional roller coaster this year. You know, we, we enjoy seeing our children grow up, uh, but, you know, we miss uh, the, you know, when they were little too. So uh, it's uh, twofold uh, emotional. We love them. We love them growing up. We look forward to them growing up. And then we wish they were babies forever. <laughs> so, um, you know, uh, but. Uh, that's how my week went. Monday and Tuesday, I gardened. I worked really hard at carrying dirt and uh, manure back and forth across the yard. Uh, Wednesday, of course, was Bible study, so I didn't exercise. Uh, Thursday, I cut grass. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, um, I skipped exercise. Uh, I didn't do it. Uh, so, you know, I'm not looking for uh, uh, any kind of miracles this week. Uh, I've uh, gypped myself of exercise and I've overindulged on comfort foods. Um, ate more than my fair share. Went way over on my calories. So I don't expect uh, to lose a whole lot this week. I'll be very lucky if I didn't gain <laughs> because it's just been an off week. That's all it is. Uh, and you know, uh, it's human. We all do that. We all have off weeks. We have off days. And we just brush our shelf off and we get up and we go again tomorrow or um, next week. So uh, this is going to be you know, uh, week four of our Fit for the Fourth. And I'm just going to brush brush off, pick myself up, and uh, give it a extra boost this week. Uh, so uh, with that said... Let's go ahead and step on the scales. All right. Well, uh, um, miracles do happen. <laughs> and look at that. Oh, okay. So, you know, I would have hoped for two pounds this week, but uh, one seventy-eight point eight, and or um, one fifty-eight point eight last week, and one fifty-seven point two this week. So we're uh, one point six pounds. Um, after the roller coaster week I've had, I'm going to accept that with a smile and say, well, you know, I hope I do just as well this coming week. Uh, and if I can do better, yeah, I can do better. But, uh, you know, 1.6 uh, is actually pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm getting close to my ideal weight, according to the doctors. Uh, well, actually, um, according to the doctors, 159 was that mark. Uh, so, uh, you know, the closer I get to the ideal uh, weight, you know, the harder it's going to be uh, to come off. Uh, your body doesn't like to shed pounds. You have to work it. And, uh, you know, it's going to get difficult. And so I'm going to keep at it and keep working on it. And uh, a challenge for this week. Um, Oh, well, you know, in addition to, and I, you know, this is in addition to, you keep eating your cup of greens every day, uh, you keep eating your four veggies every day, um, you know, it's very important to get your water, and so you should be drinking, um, you know, they say eight glasses of water a day, but if you're eating a lot of fruit and vegetables, you're getting a lot of water um, that way. But if you can still get eight glasses of water a day, that's great. Uh, I have no problem with that. It's, uh, it's summertime. It's hot. I like to be outside, so uh, I carry water with me everywhere. Uh, actually, this is probably the first time you've seen me on camera without a water bottle nearby. 
uh, it's actually sitting on my desk. Uh, I just left it there when I came out. Uh, but I have no trouble drinking the water. Uh, but, you know, I, not everyone drinks water like I do. So, uh, you know, in addition to your fr uh, vegetables, um, restricting your, your soda, uh, you know, make sure you're getting your water in to six to eight glasses a day, depending on uh, the rest of your diet. And again, man, summertime, there's no... Uh, no way it's going to hurt you to drink eight glasses of water. Uh, so drink your water. But this week's challenge is fruit. Um, in addition to the greens and the veggies, uh, you know, add fruit to your diet. If you don't eat fruit already, uh, go ahead and add it. Uh, two to four servings. I try to get at least four. I have a banana every day because of the potassium uh, in this heat it's very important you keep your potassium it helps you uh, avoid uh, the heat exhaustion it helps avoid um, heat stroke uh, it keeps uh, helps avoid dehydration uh, drinking your water making sure you get enough potassium uh, daddy J he where he works it gets extremely hot and uh, he eats um, you know, three or four bananas every day, and when he he slacks off, he starts getting cramps from dehydration. Uh, but he's found as long as he eats three or four bananas every day uh, while he's at work, he'll drink a bottle of water and eat a banana, and um, the cramps uh, have gone away. He hasn't been having them. So it's important to make sure you get enough potassium and if you work out in the sun or in a, you know, a building that's very hot like Daddy J does, you know, more than one banana a day is okay. <laughs> um, I eat one banana a day and at least one orange a day, uh, the citric, uh, the vitamin C. Uh, and then, you know, I eat two other fruits throughout the day. Uh, it might be an apple or pear or nectarine or watermelon or cantaloupe. Or sometimes, on some days, I eat all of those <laughs> with strawberries and grapes. And, uh, you know, I, I try to rotate my fruits so that every day I'm getting a different fruit. Uh, but I do eat a banana and an orange um, just about every day. So that's your challenge for this week is uh, uh, in addition to your greens and four veggies, get your four fruits. Uh, now... Uh, a secondary challenge I set for myself this week was um, I wanted to go this week with no meat. And I forgot. <laughs> um, I think it was Thursday. I made it all the way to Thursday with no meat. Um, and I was actually doing very good. Uh, and I was kind of quick on the lunch. Uh, I knew I I knew I had some um, salmon that I had made and at the beginning of the week I put it in the freezer so that I wouldn't eat it. And I forgot um, on, on Thursday I was looking for something quick for lunch and I thought, oh, I have some salmon in the freezer. And I just popped that out and I thawed it and made a sandwich and I was halfway through my sandwich and I was like, Oh, I was going to do no meat this week, um, and I, I completely forgot, so um, I failed on that. Uh, now, that was the only serving of meat that I had this week, was um, probably one ounce of salmon. The last time that I had biscuits and gravy was uh, the Sunday before Mother's Day. Uh, what is that? Is that six weeks ago? <laughs> uh, it's... You know, it's been a little while since I've had biscuits and gravy. And I know today is Monday. Sunday is still, you know, six days away. Um, but right now, I think in my mind, well, come Sunday morning, I want biscuits and gravy with sausage and scrambled eggs. Uh, and, you know, as bad as that is, I might just have to make that once a month treat or something. I don't know. Uh, so... Um, I'm really not going to challenge myself this week to no meat. 
Um, no, I don't eat very much. Uh, when I do have it, it's only once a week. And uh, this week I only had one ounce of salmon. Uh, that was, you know, my my uh, cheat for the week was one ounce of salmon. Uh, otherwise, you know, the rest of the week I followed the diet. Um, I ate more than what I should have on, you know, some of the days, but uh, I didn't eat anything that wasn't allowed. So, but better luck next week, right? All right, so the challenge, Courtney, this week is to continue your greens and your veggies, but add four fruits also. And let me tell you, you eat a cup of greens, and you eat four veggies, and you eat four fruits. You know, it, it's hard to get a whole bunch of calories and a whole bunch of food in your diet when you're uh, pressing on these uh, health um, nutrient rich foods uh, because they are so full of nutrients and vitamins that they uh, curb your appetite and it's hard to overeat and get too many calories when you're jam-packed full of fruits and vegetables but uh, uh, you know that's the challenge for this week for fruits thanks for watching and until we speak again God bless